Hello, my name is Dr. Craig Childress. I'm a clinical psychologist in Pasadena, California. I specialize in treating ADHD spectrum issues, oppositional defiant children, uh, family relationship problems, and, and marital issues. And today I'm going to talk with you about how to get your ADHD child ready for back to school. Um, this is a difficult area to deal with, um, primarily because there really isn't a good solution to it. And to understand why there isn't a good solution, we need to understand what the challenges are that we face. The child with ADHD requires more of our involvement. Um, just simply because who they are and how their brain is functioning, they require that we provide a, a good deal of involvement to help scaffold their functioning in the world. If left to their own devices, they tend to be disorganized and to be um, all over the place in terms of their attention and in terms of their behavior. The difficulty comes is that the school system is basically structured to deal with the normal range child, a child who has good impulse control, good behavioral control, good attentional focus. They are not structured to deal with a child who has higher than average needs for teacher involvement. And so what's going to happen is a conflict between the teacher's need to teach the rest of the class and stay task oriented and the child's need to seek relationship involvement from the adult caregiver, from the parent, or from the teacher in this case. And so there's going to be a natural conflict that occurs in the classroom. In order for the teacher to do their task, they want the child to be behaviorally well behaved and well controlled. The teacher is going to want the child to be on medication in order to achieve that. While that's to some degree helpful for the child in the classroom, it really doesn't address the core issues that the child needs, which is more involvement, uh, more involvement from parents and teachers to help deal with the underlying causes. One of the difficulties that's going to emerge, though, is that the child's going to feel bad about who they are. Um, they're going to feel like they're always getting in trouble, they're always getting blamed for things, they're always being told to sit down and stop doing that, and they just can't be successful and they're going to compare themselves to their peers and realize that they're not doing as well as the other kids. So one of the best things we can do for a child with ADHD is to defocus a little bit on their task-oriented success, their behavior, uh, whether or not they're behaving well in the classroom, and to focus more on their emotional well-being, to maintain a positive emotional tone and, and expressions of affection and warmth and support to help them feel good about who they are, even if they do have additional challenges. The second thing we can help in children with, with attention deficit problems in the school or even opposition, more likely oppositional defiant issues, is to help them understand why they're going to school. That school isn't about behavior. School is about preparing ourselves for life. And so to help them understand the broader context of school, and it's about learning and getting a, a basis to be successful in life, and to see if we can join with their motivation about that, rather than simply focusing on whether or not they're sitting in their chair in the classroom and those sorts of things. Um, and so I hope this is to some degree helpful. And for more information on ADHD and, and other issues of child development, you can visit my website. Thanks so much.